Do you have tickets to the gun show? I'll show you these two guns, how they differ in storing and releasing energy and the patented technology that they both share. First, the triad. It cocks by pulling down on the handle at the bottom and fires by pulling back on the trigger. When you pull the handle, a plunger moves down with it. This action compresses a spring between the plunger and the base of the pistol grip. There is a latch at the base of the grip that locks the plunger in place. When the trigger is pulled, the latch moves and releases the spring. This mechanism works because the latch and trigger are the same piece of plastic. In the middle of the piece, there is a metal pin that serves as a pivot. So when the trigger is pulled back, the latch moves forward, releasing the energy stored in the spring. The spring forces the plunger up, pushing compressed air into the dart barrels, which shoots the darts forward. The trigger latch piece also has an arm fixed at one end. When the trigger is pulled, the arm bends and wants to spring back when the trigger is released. This sets up the pistol to be cocked again. The double strike works a little differently. To cock, you pull back on the hammer, and to fire, you pull the trigger. Let's look inside and see how this works. Like the triad, there is a plunger to force air and a spring to store and release energy. But here there is a hammer that interacts with the trigger. When the hammer is pulled back, part of it rests on a piece protruding from the trigger. Even though the spring is pushing up, the trigger pushes on the opposite end of the pivot, keeping the gun cocked. When the trigger is pulled, it moves free of the hammer, which springs up and pushes the plunger forward, which in turn fires the dart. A spring behind the trigger snaps it back into place so the gun can be cocked again. These guns differ in the way they cock and trigger. The triad's a bit simpler, and the double strike is a bit more realistic. But what they have in common is they both have multiple barrels, and they both fire a single dart with one trigger pull. No matter which barrel is filled, only one dart will fire, and the gun will never try to fire an empty barrel. How do these smart blasters know which barrels are loaded? Do these products, which retail for about $10 a piece, have cutting edge electronics and sensors? Or do they contain tiny, sentient beings? Surprisingly, no. But I found out the secret to this clever technology. Here's how I did it. I hacked into the United States patent mainframe <laughs> using an elite cracking tool known as Google. Once I was in, I had access to technical drawings and detailed descriptions. Here's what I found. The individual barrels of these guns are connected by a novel air path for cascading a blast of compressed air. Each barrel has a spring-loaded valve. A valve is in the forward extended state if the barrel is empty, or in the retracted state if the barrel contains a dart. The positioning of these valves determines the path of the compressed air. As compressed air enters the system, this forward valve has an O-ring that prevents air from entering the first barrel. This directs the air into the second valve. Because this valve is retracted, air is forced into the barrel which launches the dart. This valve is now free to spring forward opening a passageway into the third valve. With this setup, air is directed only to the first loaded barrel, even if the darts are randomly loaded. Here's where the valve system is located on the double strike and the triad. The double strike has a linear arrangement much like the diagram, and the triad has the three valves arranged in a triangular pattern. So that's the secret, folks. The secret that Hasbro tries to hide. They try to hide it on their external packaging and directly on their guns. But I figured out your secrets, Hasbro, via publicly available documents. And I've leaked these documents in the description below. So you guys out there, you better download it before the government takes it down. So that's my video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, you should subscribe to my channel um, because I might post more videos in the future, maybe. Uh, but you subscribe anyway, because why not? And all the cool kids are doing it. Uh, here's how here's how cool my subscriber base is right now. My mom makes up over 8% of my total subscribers. You want to be cool like my mom, right? Just do it. Subscribe.